Hi everyone! So, today I decided I would go ahead and do the dip on a canvas with another canvas. The way I do the dips though is um, I will put only white on one canvas and I will do a flip cup on the other canvas with uh, my other three colors. I may put a little bit of gold on that canvas as well so uh, the gold pops out a little bit more uh, on the top. Uh, also gold is a heavy pigment density. Um, it's a it's a pigment mix but the iridescent pigment are pretty heavy in density and I I'm pretty sure there's Mars black in there as well, so that's heavy in density. There's a yellow pigment too, uh, but not being too sure in which exact quantity it is, uh, I can't really place it. But other than with experimentation. I did a canvas the other day where uh, my camera stopped midway uh, as I did the pour. It was with the, those colors, not exact colors but I had the Quinacridone Crimson and Canyon Red Deep Hue. Uh, I had Naftal Red uh, Medium instead. Now I have uh, the Canyon Deep Red Hue because I think it's deeper and uh, closer to the crimson and I think that with the gold it's going to look amazing. But what I was going to say is that in that canvas the gold uh, pretty much all sank to the bottom so uh, there wasn't much of it showing at all so that's why I think I'm going to put white and gold on the canvas I'm going to dip on top and uh, we'll see how that goes and yeah uh, for that I mix my paints the usual way I have uh, two heavy, heavy body paints the gold and the cadmium red deep hue those I mixed 50-50 paint medium, equal parts, and then to that mix I add 25% water. I have two fluid acrylics. The Quinacridone Crimson is 30% uh, paint to 70% medium and then about 10% water. And the Zinc White is mixed with a little bit of Titanium White. Two-thirds Zinc White, one-third titanium white and I mix that and after that I add about uh, well 30 per to the paint I had 70% medium about and no water because I want to keep it dense and heavy I want to use the zinc white to create cells instead of using uh, silicone uh, the water has a lighter density than paint so that's why I do not put it in the zinc white since I want to keep it dense and heavy so it sinks in the other color and then push the lighter colors up the like colors that have water mixed in to make them even lighter and the idea is because the white will be on one canvas and it will end up on top it's easier to control and then I will get cells more cells that's cool <laughs> so yeah enough talk I'll zoom you in and we'll get started with that. Alright, so I will start by making my flip cup on this canvas. We'll put half the gold in and then I will, both red should be really close in density so I decided to go ahead and put the cadmium red U first and the quinacridone crimson second.
Now, as you can see, the gold already has pretty much disappeared. It created cells, but we don't see them all that much. So, the idea is to just sandwich all the paint in the middle of the two canvas. Someone already suggested that I flip it a little bit and then reflip it to I'm curious. I'm gonna try. And then I'm gonna remove it towards me so it creates really nice movement in a painting. And I'll give you a time lapse and meanwhile cover my sides. Alright, so I am in love with the result of these paintings. I love the movement, the kind of dendrites that formed on the top here. The red is taking over, wants to go on top while the white is quite sinky into them. Sinking? Sinky. <laughs> uh, love the movement created by lifting quickly from on one side only and in this one it's a lot more mixed together I think the gold is pretty much in all the colors except maybe here and I love it love the once again the movement but it's reversed from this one in this one the white is creating the shape and this one the red is creating the shapes so it's really lovely uh, quite happy with this and not as much cells as I thought there would be, but quite a bit still. We just don't see them all that much in the red here. There's a lot of it. It's kind of hard to see. My camera has troubles with red as well. It tends to underexpose it, so I have to mess with the setting. Uh, cells in the white as I thought there would be. And... Anyway, it's not like cells is everything. I mean, I like the movement on those two much better than the actual cells in it. I love the color combination, the gold around here, the gold mixed in the red, the white just contrasting, popping right out, moving. And in here, I really like how smooth it all looks all a bit mixed together, but I love it. It's just really nice, um, those lines, the movement once again, and the color combination, the red, the gold, the white. Uh, maybe next time I do this, I, I will try putting gold only on one and then dip that and see what happens. I think it could be interesting. And now I just realized I have a, a cat hair in my painting for a change. Wish I had a room I could paint without my cats in it, where I could just vacuum it pretty much every day to avoid cat hairs. But mm, not now. Oh well. So yeah, lovely paintings, really like them both, I uh, think the dipping idea with a canvas in another canvas was a good idea, I love it, and uh, I think I will try this again for sure. Um, the, the result is nice and kind of different on both canvas too. So it's like a, a two for one, and I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> I'm a happy painter. And we're back, and I 
I'm in love with these paintings. Red and gold is really a nice combination. It's rich, it's warm, and I love it. Uh, it reminds me of a uh, Gryffindor <laughs> in uh, Harry Potter. Um, it will probably be the title of this painting. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I love reading about your uh, opinions, your feedback. Uh, just love reading about it. Um, and yeah, that's about it for today. If you like this video, give it a like. It helps me out a lot. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!